28 November 2023. This one is a what a fuck moment. And it's a real what a fuck moment. And the question is, who are the real patriots of South Africa? And I suggest you go and find a dictionary, go on Google and find out what patriot actually means. It is my opinion that the bulk of the blacks in South Africa are not patriots. And at the same time, the bulk of the whites in South Africa are patriots. It is whites that fought for this country. It was white Bura that fought the British and paid a heavy price, but they fought for the country. And I can remember as a youngster how proud my dad and the community was when the first rail line connected our little town. I can remember how we stood at the station and watched the first train come through. And <laughs> this might sound silly, all the people that gathered there to see this occasion of the first train, when the train arrived, they sang the stem. Yeah, not this. They sang the stem. I can remember how proud we were when we heard on the radio of a new road that was start somewhere. I can remember how my parents, when they were talking, were talking about a new mine that opened, a new power station that was built, new lines, transmission lines that was built, things like that. How proud we were of our army. We were proud of the country. And in my days, Nobody stole a cable or stole an overhead line or stole transmission line posts or stole anything from the railway. It just did not happen. If you should have done it, the community would have slaughtered you. We were proud of our country. We were proud when Iskor expanded. We as school children were taken to go and see how the steel is milled. Pride. That is the thing. Pride sits here. Pride. You cannot fucking buy it. You cannot expropriate it. You have it or you don't have it. You're a patriot or you're not a patriot. And if you're not a patriot, you're actually a fucking terrorist. Now let's look at the other side of the coin. Let's look at it. The current controllers, I'm going to call them controllers of South Africa, they fucking plunder. Before I get to their plundering, let me remind you of this one. We had a minister, Petit Duplessis, and he manipulated a tender so that his son could get it for the supply of computers. Now the tender value was 64,000 rand. 64,000 rand. Less than many of your civil servants pay per month. And there's even civil servants that pay that per day. But the value of the tender was 64,000 rand. And he maneuvered it so that his son's business got it. What happened to Petit Duplessis? He was fired. He was a minister. He was fired and he was, he was charged and he went to jail. And here's the irony. His son actually delivered the computers as per tender, installed it and got it going. So the state lost fuck all. 
but PTWC went to jail for 64,000 rand. Today, you hear of officials, ministers involved in fraud and corruption of millions of rands. Is that a patriot? That's traitors, terrorists. That's what they are. And you must understand, there's an underlying issue here. These traitors and terrorists that call themselves South Africans, that are plundering the country, they are involved in stealing railway lines, stealing overhead electrical lines, stealing, stealing the masts, the ESCO mast, stealing everywhere, steal, 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 everywhere, because they have no pride. They actually have a moment of joy if a building catches fire and collapses. When it falls, they clap for it. That is their mentality. And I'm saying again, they are not traitors. They never fought for this country. They fucking tell you they fought for their freedom. They fought for fuck all, man. They got it. They fought fuck all. They protested the bit. They didn't fight. And you guys have got a fucking warped idea that the ANC, MK, actually fought the South African army. They never fought the South African army. They fucking terrorized the farmers and the people on the rural areas with landmines and cuck and planted bombs in Church Street and so forth. And in the mums and toti. They, that's what they did. They were fucking terrorists. They never fought our army. Never. So, then they got the country. And what do they do? They don't stand at attention and sing the national anthem. No. They huddle in a corner and plan how to steal. How to rob everybody from of everything. Plunder. Destruction. That is their thing. Now I'm going to say something. There's a lot of illegal immigrants in the country. There are people that reckon there's 40 million of them here. And I have been in a chat discussion one night and there were Nigerians, Somalians and Kenyans there. And they said they're going to take this country. They're going to take this country. And I didn't participate in the discussion, I just watched. So, I've got news for you. You fuckers that like to call yourself the EFF fighters. When that happens, you will have to fight for South Africa. And you know what? The way you ran in Brackenfell, that is how you're going to run in front of any threat to South Africa. But you've got a fucking problem. The threat is coming from the north. Where are you going to run to? Your only option is run south and blux them into the sea and swim for Robin Island. And then once the island is full, start pushing one another off the island and swim for fucking the South Pole or for Marion Island or for fucking where. Because that is what you are. Runners. You call yourself fighters. You fucking runners. The, the moment there is resistance, you run. The moment there is a serious threat, you run. That is it. And now you can be foaming at your mouth. I don't give a shit. I'm talking facts. A portion of the white population are the true patriots. The rest of you are joiners and traitors and terrorists. You plundered the state. You plundered the state's assets. Is that a patriot doing it? No, no, no. That's a fucking terrorist doing it. You don't understand the meaning of the word traitor.
but the true patriots. And let me tell you something, there is a hell of a lot of blacks. They are trained and ready for the cuck. They are patriots. I'm in discussion with many of them. And I've got a fucking message for you fighters. You better think very carefully about what you're planning to do. Because you, the fighters, you are going to run into the patriots. And the patriots will have no mercy. If you run, they're going to follow you. And they're going to catch you. So, on this evening, my message is this. Look around. Find the patriots. Because they are the people that are willing to fight for the country. They are willing to die for the country. But you, the fighters, the terrorists, the plunderers, the destroyers, you are having a royal time. You are protected game. And your protection license is nearing expiry date. And you cannot reapply. So, you better be careful of what you wish for. And, by the way, a firefighter fights fires. What does a freedom fighter fight? Freedom? <laughs> but this is over your head, in any case. Fact of the matter is, this is where we are. Our country has been plundered. It is as if there was a war and the attacking enemy came in and plundered the country before they leave. The country has been plundered. Look around. The signs of plundering is there. But the patriots is watching and waiting. And you, the so-called fighters, you're not a match for the patriots. And don't think they are 5,000 or 10,000 or they are a fucking lot. There's a lot of angry black patriots which has seen their homelands plundered and destroyed. And they're angry. And they know who the plunderers is. One night I was in a discussion with a group and the guy said, you must just understand, we know the whites did not plunder the country. We know. You built the country. We know who the plunderers are. We are going to get them. And I thought to myself, it is a sad day actually that the divide between the true South African patriots and the plunderers is so wide when it comes to their attitude. But the, these plunderers, yes, you plunderers, if you stole money from the state, you're a plunderer. If you stole a cable from Eskom or from the municipality, you're a plunderer. If you stole a piece of railway line, you're a plunderer. If you broke a window, you're a plunderer. If you burned something, you're a plunderer. That is what you are. And you, you plunderers need to understand what you, should, you plunderers, what you should actually do is go and read up the history on 3-2 Battalion. I'm not going to give you anything more about it. Just the name number. 3-2 Battalion. And go and study 3-2 Battalion. And you will most probably, if you have any ability to read with comprehension, you will most probably shit your pants. Because you're going to see shit 
that you never knew. And you must pay attention. You have the fucking idea in your head that when the car hits the fan, you're going to be 65 million against us, 3 million. <laughs> you're in for a fucking surprise. And now I must add it here. Among the whites, we also have plunderers. We also have traitors. But we know who they are. We know who they are. We know where they are. And they are just as fucking scared of the Patriots as you should be. You must ask them what the fuck the Patriots can do to them. At this point in time, they've got all the control. But that day is going to end and the karma train is going to hit the station and the cock is going to fly. So, for me, a patriot. To you, a fucking plunderer. Carry on with your shit. Your day of reckoning is coming. You bluff yourself that you're a fighter. You're a freedom fighter. Fuck, you don't have a fucking clue what a fight is. You think you have a clue. You don't have a clue. But the reality is this. There are true patriots. And I happen to know of a lot of them. And I've had discussions with some of them. They know who the traitors are. They know who the terrorists are. They know who the plunderers are. And the documents that I saw is scary. They know about Triple X. They know about Triple X's plans. They are ready for it. But they also say to me, blood must flow for what was done to our country. So, have a great evening. Try and wrap your head around this fuck up between difference between patriots and terrorists and look at your own actions and decide whether what are you? Are you a patriot or are you a terrorist? Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.